Hello there, welcome to Momentous Events 2017. It's all about investing, business and like-minded people coming here together and socialising in a relaxed environment. And today we've got some special guests. We've got Simon Robinson here uh, from YOLO Leisure and Technology. Hello to you. Okay. And you've got some chums with you, so can you explain yourselves? Yes, so we are Lo YOLO Leisure and Technology PLC. We're an investment business. Yeah. We've got five different businesses that we've invested into. I'm delighted that we've got Rob here from Magic Media Works and we've got Frank here from TV Player. So they're two of the companies we're invested in. And we're going to talk about those a little later on. Yes, we so are. So first of all, tell us about your strategies, your investments. You alluded to them then. Yes, so we basically invest into technology, media, leisure businesses. Um, so we're looking at how to generate uh, revenues through how people spend their time. So for example, um, if they're spending a lot of time listening to music or watching TV, it's how to, to monetize that. And, and that's what YOLO focuses uh, on and the kind of companies that we invest into. Okay, let's talk about those companies then. Yes. Okay, so we've got five um, that we're invested into, two of which are listed. So a lot of the, uh, our investors will know of those from the market. Mm -hmm. That's Audio Boom. Um, that's um, We've got um, Gfinity and we've got two, three private companies, so okay. SimpleStream Limited and TV Player Limited. Mm -hmm. And then the latest one we've invested into is a company called Magic Media Works, which some people will know as the electric jukebox. Okay. And is this the one, it was £1.4 million, pounds, is that correct? That's correct, yes. Yeah. yeah. And can you tell us how that came about? Yes. So we put a convertible loan in of £1.4 million pounds into the business. We really like the space that they're in. Um, it's when you consider that only 10% of the of people are streaming music, so 90% of people to go at. That's a three billion global market to go after. Uh, I think as well, if you look at Spotify, for example, as well, 50% of the Spotify listeners are under the age of 24. So there's a whole big demographic uh, that we want to go to go after with that. But Electric Jukebox is probably better that Rob talks a little bit about yeah. that. Go for it. Okay, so electric jukebox, far away. Absolutely. So, uh, as I think Simon was saying, there's a vast number of consumers out there, hundreds of millions, who don't have a streaming experience at home and they can't go to the retailer and buy a CD anymore because those retailers have long since gone. So, our job is to create the ultimate music entertainment experience for the home. Uh, we've already launched the first version of the product and in here in the UK, which has been a great success. And there's new products on the way which have lots of new functionality and we should be going to the US soon, too. Okay, and why would someone want to invest in that? Um, well, we have a proposition which could reach hundreds of millions of consumers, uh, but which very much unlike a lot of the streaming services of today, is much more wholesome. It's not just about music streaming, it's about entertainment, it's about music games, it's about singing along with the lyrics, and critically, it's very attractive to a, a family audience who might not be into their mobile phones and their apps, and there's hundreds of millions of people for us to sell that proposition into all over the world. Mm -hmm. So what market are you aiming for? Yeah. Okay. So the, the consumer I'm after is the consumer who doesn't use Spotify today, okay. which is actually the vast majority of consumers. There's families out there who love music, but they don't have an easy and fun way to play music. We're delivering the ultimate music entertainment system for their living room. They literally buy the box, plug it in, they've got all the music in the world, and they can also sing along, they can play games, uh, they, can, uh, they can enjoy the world of music without any of the hassle. That's what we want. Music, no hassle, I like it. That's up my street. And you, sir, we're going to talk about the investments and how you're related, yeah? That's right. Um, I'm Frank Bow, Chief Commercial Officer at TV Player. Um, TV Player is a next generation TV platform that is currently combining live broadcast TV and online content. Um, it's quite important to say that we, we're the only legal online aggregator of live TV streams in the UK. Um, and that's quite an important point because it allows us to distribute over 70 Freeview channels completely free. Mm -hmm. But it also allows us to distribute over 30 premium paid channels for only $5.99 a month. So an extremely low cost option compared to pay TV. Mm -hmm. The way we distribute is to the millennial audience, is to that young 18 to 34, of which about 40%, 7% of our audience is made up of. And it's through applications, iPhones, iPads, smart TVs, and the various other connected devices you'd expect. Mm -hmm. we, no hidden fees, no line rentals, no contracts. So we're extremely popular with the younger generation, or people who are just sick and tired of paying the large pay TV bills. That has resulted in 30% organic month-on-month -month growth and we continue to expand the business that way. Okay, and how lucrative is all of this? 
Um, it's, well, they're all rapidly growing companies. That's mm -hmm. the important thing. So they're disruptors, they're innovators, they're very technology orientated, mm -hmm. but they've got a fantastic team of people in there that, that, that are running their companies, but they are mm -hmm. um, growing very quickly, very rapidly. So from an investor perspective, it makes them very attractive companies to, to invest into. So if you want a diversified company, then yours is the one to go for, I presume? No, absolutely. And I think our investment strategy is basically um, as an investment company to be active within all the investments that we have, so sitting on the boards with the companies that we're, we're involved with. Um, we obviously will look at whether those companies can spin off or their further investments. So for example, with TV Player, they've just had a big round invested from a company called A&E Networks, so it's a $20 billion US business. Mm -hmm. uh, so they've invested because they like what Frank and the team are doing at TV Player. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, as an investment business, we'll look at reverse takeover opportunities as well. So we've got a very open, uh, option in terms of um, how we move uh, YOLO forward but we're basically keeping a very open mind on what is right and best for shareholders. Okay and that's exactly why you're here tonight right? Yes absolutely. Okay YOLO thank you very much indeed gentlemen thank you for your time we appreciate that. Thank you very that. much thank you. Okay so that is our threesome right here talking about YOLO technologies this evening.